Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy, and today's topic is something very special to me. It's the, it's the power of gaming, the power of community, and the power of friendship. This is how gaming changed my life. I told this story when I had about 800 subscribers, and I have a little bit more than that now, so we're gonna go ahead and retell it. Now this story is one of a kind, and I wanna walk you guys through it from beginning to end, everything that happened, so sit back and relax. It all started with a Bungie game. Now I've always been a gamer, NES, Super NES, Game Boy, Virtual Game Boy, Sega Genesis, Game Shark, Dreamcast, you name it, I've played it. Eventually I found Halo, like a lot of people did, and I bought that original Xbox just for Halo. I was hooked, I mean I played Halo 1 and then when Halo 2 came out, and with these games, I had never been online, no Xbox Live, not once. I just played the missions alone, I enjoyed them, but a lot of it was because I was very shy. Bungie makes these games that are great worlds to go to, and they're a great world to be a part of. So with Halo 2, I met my girlfriend in 2006, and since then she's become my wife. I was really lucky enough to find someone that shared the same passion for gaming as I did, and a lot of that is she was a huge Halo fan. We just kind of clicked. On September 25th, 2007, Halo 3 came out, and they had this Master Chief helmet in this legendary edition that you got it. It was just this life-size replica. And at this point, we were all but living together. We didn't even own an Xbox 360, but we had to have that helmet. So we got it. Now, in late 2008, we made our first big purchase together. And for some couples, it's furniture. For some people, it's dogs. Now, for us, it was an Xbox 360. We got it. We cracked open that Master Chief helmet pretty much a year later after it came out. And then we started playing Halo 3. So that was late 2008, now in early 2009, for the first time I got Xbox Live. And I started getting into matchmaking, and I only played Lone Wolves, and to this day it's one of the main reasons that I still kind of play Rumble. It's something that I've always known, and I've always been a part of, and something that I was decently good at. So I started dipping into this online gaming, and again, I was shy, I was very to myself. The only person I played with was my wife, and it was split screen. So on April 9th, 2009, the Mythic Map Pack came out as DLC for Halo 3. I had never bought any DLC for any game ever, so on April 15th, I decided to buy it. And on that day, I finally plugged in the headset that comes with your console. So there's a game, and this is the game that changed the course of my life. And not too many people out there can say that their life was changed because of a game. And actually, in the description, there's a link to that game, and it's just kind of there in history. If I remember correctly, when new maps came out in Halo, it was kind of a rotating playlist, so it turned out to be SWAT on Orbital. That game, I had 28 kills and overkill extermination. It was a great game and my team lost by one. Now, every single time I was on a streak, there would be this guy that killed me. And if we remember correctly, after a game of Halo in the end screen, everybody could talk to each other from both teams, but there were no mics on. But all of a sudden, the guy at the top of their screen, the guy that was stopping me, his mic kind of flickered on. It was a guy named Rhodesy, and he turned his mic on, he started talking, he said, dude, what a great game, good game, man. And then we started talking, and it was actually the first time I've ever talked to anybody online. I said, you too, man, good game. He said, I'm sorry that your team didn't do too well. And I said that I just got these maps today. I've never really done this, and I've never played these maps. He said, me too, this is my first time playing these maps. He said, that was my first game as well. He asked me if I wanted to party up. So that's what we did. We played the Mythic Map Pack together the entire day. I mean, we started talking, I found out that he was from Missouri, he was going to college in Missouri. Well, at the time, I lived in San Antonio, and I was born in Missouri, so we just kind of talked, I and mean, it was an awesome day. And now, at the end of it, my wife got home, and I told her, I think I just met my best friend today. And of course, she laughed, like hysterics. He's just kind of making fun of me, he goes, oh, did someone make a friend today? And I said, you know what, I think I did. From then on, I started playing with Rhodesy every day. I mean, my wife started playing with us, and then we had new friends that joined our group, a guy named Callie, a guy named Alex. We had this small group going. So we played Halo together, then Black Ops 1, Halo 4, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and so on. We, you know, it was our group of gaming. So in early 2010, in between that, my girlfriend and I moved to New York. And on our way to New York, we went out of the way to Missouri, and I got to meet Rosie for the first time face to face. I mean, of course it was epic. We played Halo. Uh, we met his girlfriend that we heard so much about. It was a blast. And we got to New York, and in late 2010, I asked my girlfriend to marry me, because you know what? Someone who moves straight across the country with you, no questions asked, and is also a gamer, you kind of have to lock that down. You gotta, you gotta seal that deal. So, Rhodesy and his girlfriend came up for that wedding. They came up to New York, we saw him again. So, in, in 2010 to 2014, I got my degree in radiologic technology, and when it was all said and done, we decided that we weren't really New York people, so it was time to move. The end result, since 2014, my wife and I now live 10 minutes down the road from Rhodesy, and it's all because of a bungee game, and not only that, Another one from our group, Alex, has moved here. Another one named Lance has moved here. 
I've met everyone from my original 2009 group at least once and we all still play together. A guy named Callie I met for the first time this year. He flew his family out once and I flew out there once. Life is good, and it all changed because of gaming. I mean, I play golf with these guys every weekend. We go downtown to bars and play Pokemon Go. Life's great. I then started YouTube, which I continue to hope to grow my channel, and gaming is just a big part of it. It changed my life. Rise of Iron's coming out shortly, guys, then Destiny 2. There are other games. There's Call of Duty. There are going to be new people playing these games. There's going to be some returning veterans playing these games. So I'm asking you, from personal experience, the next time that you're on, Try to make a friend, because you could be missing out on your Rosie. you could be missing out on your cool guy. There's a lot of people out there that share the same interest as you, and there's a lot of people out there that are like how I was. People that are shy, keeping to themselves. Now, to those people, there are others out there that want to play with you. There are people out there that share the same interests as you. So the next time you're searching something like in an LFG, try to make friends with one or two of those people and one of those gamers and set it up so that way next week on the next raid you have a couple people to go on with and you can start building on it and if that doesn't work that's fine there are others i promise so for me all it took was someone being nice to me someone saying something simple someone telling me good game and that's where it all started for me community is key and with destiny bungie has made the playground the sandbox and we just play in it now, I see the term toxic being thrown around a lot sometimes. I don't buy into that. I have never bought into that. There's more than that. And I let those people do their thing, and I'm going to do mine. And players that, that do their own thing and don't buy any of that, they know exactly what I'm talking about. So with Rise of Iron, there's going to be new players. Be nice to them. Help them. Let them experience the game for themselves. Let them form their own opinion. And they can you know, fully enjoy that experience. And again, try to make a friend. It could change your life. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.